Hello everyone, my name is Chris. Uh, today on the left I have the Samsung Galaxy Note, the original version, and on the right the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, uh, the latest version available to us. This one came out in September 2013, while this one came out in January of 2012. So I'm trying to see uh, how far exactly we've come in that span of time, skipping over the uh, second variant, uh, because I don't have that phone anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and check out uh, Android OS versions on both of these uh, devices. This device over here has Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.4. You can actually update it to uh, Jelly Bean, but you have to connect it to a computer and use keys. Now my Note 3 is currently running Android version 4.3 as seen right there. Both of these devices have been rebooted. They're running different software on them right now. I can't turn off the internet connection on the Note because it's just running Quadrant Standard and it will have to send the results uh, to their server. Let's go ahead and run Quadrant on this one as well. So it looks like the Note originally came with uh, gingerbread. It featured a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, dual core 1.5 GHz Scorpion, and for the GPU, it utilized a Adreno 220. Moving on to the Galaxy Note 3, it has a Snapdragon 800 uh, chipset, featuring a quad core 2.3 GHz Crate 400 processor and a Adreno 330 GPU. The Note 3 scores off the charts uh, better than any other device that I have, including my HTC One Max, which uses a Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 uh, chipset. The overall score was 23,147, and that's CPU of 79,642, memory of 18,607, I.O. of 14,677, 2D of 305, and 3D of 2305. While the original note gave me a score of 3,471, that's 5,751 uh, CPU, 2,923 memory, I.O. of 6150, 2D of 617, and 3D of 1912. I did have the opportunity to play with the original Note for a little bit, and it's not really a slouch. It doesn't um, it doesn't really lag. So it's still a great choice for those who need a tablet-sized uh, phone. Let's go uh, do a test that's more geared towards uh, graphics. Uh, let's try to find Nina Mark II. Both of these devices have their screen brightness turned all the way up. You can see this is using the Adreno 220 right there and the Adreno 330 for the Note 3. The resolution for the Note 3 is higher, 1920 by 1080, while on the original Note it's 1280 by 800. Obviously the Note 3 is taller in size, it's a little bit narrower, the aspect ratio gives you more of a widescreen format versus the original Note. The original Note is a little bit thicker, I do have a glass screen protector on the Note 3. And there are the results, 60.1 frames per second for the Note 3 and 34.6 frames per second for the original note. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how far we've come um, since the original note. Uh, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's only the reviewers like you that I'm able to uh, take time and do these videos. So thanks a lot.